Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. This is Mark Costello, and today I'll be talking about ordering Titus Custom Curved Linear Diffusers. Titus Linear Diffusers can be custom curved to blend in with an architectural element of a space. The beginning of every beautiful result starts with a flawless and unambiguous specification. The best way to understand the information required to order curved products is to review the forms that are used to order custom curved linear diffusers like flow bar and ML slot diffusers or the CT bar grills. Using the flow bar order procedure as an example, we can see that in addition to the border style, number of slots, throw pattern, and end fabrication, there are three main types of curving based on how the unit will be mounted plan view, primarily for ceiling mounting, and concave or convex for sidewall or arched ceiling mounting. If the diffuser is to be mounted in a ceiling, or as a floor mounted CT bar grill, the representation of the product is shown in the plan view orientation. This is particularly important if the unit is not symmetrical or if each end fabrication is different. If the diffuser is to be mounted in a curved wall or ceiling, it can be ordered for a concave or convex orientation. Concave applications include both sidewall and occasionally ceiling mounting, while the convex application is almost always sidewall mounted. Additionally, serpentine and ellipses cannot be reliably curved in concave and convex configurations. Border types must be specified, and while both borders are usually the same, they can be ordered in combinations. Like the end fabrication specification, if the borders are not the same, the orientation of the borders relative to the direction of the curve or outlet of airflow is extremely important. Specifying the dimensions of a curved linear diffuser can be daunting. Page 2 of the order procedure details how curved units can be dimensioned. Typically, most curved diffusers specified on a plan view are dimensioned by a radius being measured to the center line of the unit. However, plan view radii can be specified to the edge of the inner border or outer border as shown in the detail. Sidewall radius dimensions are almost always measured to the rear surface of the border frame that mates to the wall surface. The heart of any curved diffuser specification are the actual numbers and many times the radius required has changed from the original spec is being done outside a design spec or the unit is a retrofit item. When it becomes necessary to provide a curved unit to suit, the radius and included angle may be difficult to obtain or to measure. Using the alternate dimensional specifications of cord length, arc length, or rise may be used if the radius and angle are not provided or cannot be effectively measured. Simply select two of any of the five dimensions and we will do the rest. A custom submittal drawing is then created for customer approval using our exclusive design automation software. Sometimes more elaborate elliptical or serpentine curved units are required. This is not a problem when broken down as shown in the details on the order form. An important item to keep in mind is that an ellipse constructed of continually variable tangent radii is not possible. For curving purposes, the ellipse or serpentine curves must consist of two constant radii in tangency. As always, the technical solution experts at Titus are always available to answer any questions you may have about the curving process and assist you in providing the best solutions. Whenever you're thrown a linear curve, Titus is there for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.